flex 24 volt impact driver, even the best impact drivers have issues, right? Looks like we got a little slippage with the flex, the Milwaukee, and also the Cobalt XTR. Using an auger style or paddle bit in an impact driver is definitely a demanding ask. You can see that the Makita and next the DeWalt is able to finish that task and sometimes just getting the job done is what you need. Welcome back to the channel. My name's Chris and not every impact driver is perfect, but we're gonna be testing out the brand new Flex 24 volt impact driver. We're gonna be putting it head to head against DeWalt, Makita, Milwaukee, and Cobalt XTR. So if you wanna see how this thing performs, stick around. We're gonna send it through five different tests right now. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. So we're gonna start things off with the six inch general construction fastener. This is a T20 and this is gonna test a little bit of speed. We're gonna be putting them side by side as well as all together and you can tell which one is the fastest. So we're gonna start things off with the Makita XDT16 running the four amp hour battery. The Flex five amp hour battery on the right definitely finishes faster. It's a really dead close race with the 2.5 amp hour battery on the Flex 24 volt. Note that the Makita is a substantially lighter tool than the Flex 24 volt. Now here we got the Milwaukee Gen 3 impact driver and it's hanging tight with the Flex five amp hour battery. And I'd say that it's a really dead close race. Now on the removal, you can see the Milwaukee is about as even as the Flex with the 2.5 amp hour battery. Again, note, the Milwaukee is a lot lighter than the Flex 24 volt. Here you can see the DeWalt get destroyed by both Flex battery sizes. And when it comes to the removal, the DeWalt's about as close or equivalent to the Flex with the 2.5 amp hour battery. The DeWalt was running the four amp hour battery and again, is substantially lighter. Now when it comes to the Cobalt XTR, it gets destroyed by both Flex battery size versions here. And for the Cobalt XTR being a big tool, you know, you'd think you'd have a little bit more oomph behind it, but it really, really wasn't a close race there. Now it was about close to the 2.5 amp hour battery on the removal. Now here they are all head to head. You can see that the Flex five amp hour battery is really, really taking the lead here with the Milwaukee about the only one that can hang tight when it comes to speed. And it definitely is noted that the Flex is substantially heavier than all the other tools and is a 24 volt platform. So we got test one done with the six inch construction fastener. We'll toss those aside. We can see that the Flex being a larger tool, a heavier tool, a bigger battery, decent specs on paper, was able to slightly outperform these. So you would kind of expect that. The Milwaukee Gen 3 impact driver with the four amp hour battery was definitely the fastest when it comes to that size and weight ratio. And the XD T16 Makita and the DeWalt DCF887 were definitely very smooth in the hands. Really good tools for overhead operation. If you need to work on the curls and the dumbbells, definitely go with the flex. So now we're gonna step things up. Again, looking at speed, adding a little torque to it with the eight inch timber screw. We're gonna kick things off again with the Makita, going head to head with a flex 24 volt impact driver. We got the five amp hour flex out in the lead, followed really, really closely by the Makita, but the flex with the 2.5 amp hour battery is able to finish before the Makita. Now, if you do listen closely, you can hear the flex ramping up, the loud sound in the background, and the Makita is slightly quieter. And when it comes down to sound, the Milwaukee, it's pretty much just about as loud as the Flex, but it also does have a lot of speed. You can see the Flex 24 volt impact driver with the five amp hour battery was slightly, ever so slightly faster than the Milwaukee with the four amp hour battery. Now the Milwaukee with the four amp hour battery was definitely faster than the Flex with the 2.5 amp hour battery. Just imagine what would happen with the Milwaukee having a bigger battery than the Flex. Now DeWalt, it's one of the only tools that we've tested that was made in the USA with global materials. Now, does that matter? It made a sum, so we're just throwing that out there. You can see the DeWalt gets destroyed by both flex battery sizes, and the DeWalt still does have decent specs. It's got less vibration in the hand, a little bit less torque, but it also isn't as fast as the flex. The last tool that has a chance to go head to head with a flex 24 volt impact driver is the Cobalt XTR. Both of these tools are manufactured by the same company, Chervon, and you would think with the Cobalt being released in the last 12 to 18 months, it's relatively new, got a lot of specs, it's running the higher output battery, it also is not able to keep up with the flex. No matter how you slice it or dice it, when you throw everything side by side in a three by two grid, you can see the flex with the five amp hour battery is actually faster than all the other tools here when you put them head to head versus the flex 24 volt. Now removal, pretty much the same. If you need the fastest, the most powerful, the heaviest tool, you gotta go with the flex. Now we finished test two with our eight inch timber screws. 
today's a new day. We got our batteries all fully charged up. You can see the dual battery indicators on the side with the Flex 24 volt. Milwaukee up there on the front of the battery. You got Makita hanging out on the back of the battery right there. Fully charged on the five amp hour battery. The DeWalt again on the back of the battery. You notice that if you let go of the battery indicator, it doesn't show. And the Cobalt XTR hanging out on the front of the battery there. We got our six inch GRK lag bolts. These are a seven by 150 running a T30 star bit. Let's get to the test number three and run these six inch lag bolts. We got the Makita XDT16 right there in the middle, six inch lag bolt, flex 2.5 amp hour on the left, the five amp hour on the right. And you can see both for insertion and removal, the flex impact driver was a little bit faster than the Makita, although they all had a decent runtime here. Up next, we got the Milwaukee Fuel Gen 3 impact driver. And if there's anything that can hang with a flex, this is the one. It really is head to head there with the 2.5 amp hour battery on the flex impact driver, but the flex with the five amp hour battery, that's, that's gonna take it for the win. Really wish I had a six amp hour battery because I feel like the Milwaukee Fuel would be really, really close. And you know what's not close is the DeWalt to beating the flex 24 volt impact driver. The DeWalt, both on insertion and removal, just is slightly slower. And what I can say about the DeWalt is it is lighter than the Flex and it does have less vibration in the hand. And that's probably some of the most important things. Up next is the Cobalt XTR. And this one's kind of a mystery to me here. So it's running the four amp hour battery. The specs on paper are pretty decent. The Flex 24 volt impact driver, it does have better specs than the Cobalt XTR, but it's still not able to beat the 2.5 amp hour battery. So that one, I don't know, all three tests so far, the Cobalt XTR just can't beat the Flex 24 volt impact driver. And when we throw everything together in the three by two grid, we can see that the flex 24 volt impact driver with a five amp hour battery is able to beat out all the other brands. It's faster both on insertion and you guessed it on removal when it comes to Milwaukee, Makita, DeWalt and Cobalt XTR. So far when it comes to these tests, we got two left, but the flex is really living up to everything it says. So we got our six inch lag bolts out of the way. We're gonna step it up. And typically we would do the four inch lag bolts into our hard white oak. You get your speed, you get your force, kind of test out the impacts or the blows per minute. But in this case, when you mix a lot of high powered tools, And these fasteners are just not strong enough to take the torque, the RPM, the blows per minute, and the hard white oak. All things considered, we're gonna have to ditch the four inch lag bolts and we're gonna move on up to the six inch lag bolts. These are three eighths inch bolts. We're gonna do those into hard white oak. It's probably a pretty good test because these have got size and it's got a lot of weight going in. Bigger and just is able to take all the force and all the blows and all the strength and torque and impacts per minute. So we got the Makita XDT16 going head to head with the Flex 24 volt. And oddly enough, the Makita is able to beat out the Flex 5 amp hour and the 2.5 amp hour when they go head to head on insertion. On removal, you can see that the Flex 24 volt with the 5 amp hour battery is able to beat it out and the 2.5 amp hour just narrowly edges out. And you probably don't want to touch those because those are really, really hot. Now the Milwaukee Fuel Gen 3 impact driver head to head with the four amp hour battery, takes out the flex 24 volt, five amp hour battery. And this is what I really thought guys, when you really, really put these tools head to head, you drive them really, really hard. Some of your top tier brands, they are gonna be a little bit better because they've been engineered, they've been tested, and they sure are doing that here. This really, really solid white oak is definitely putting these to the test. We got the Milwaukee and we got the Makita that are beating out the flex with the bigger batteries. The DeWalt one here going ahead, it looks pretty easy. It's really, really close. And I think this one's gonna be able to do it as well. It's gonna be able to beat out the flex 24 volt with the five amp hour battery. You guys wanted to see it. This is what I wanted to see too. These are some really, really tough wood. And this is where you really put your tools to the test. Can it do some of the stuff like drilling through concrete and getting those fasteners in and out? Here you can see on removal, the DeWalt, it's really hanging close there with the Flex 2.5 amp hour, but it's not able to edge it out. And now we'll switch on over to the Cobalt XTR. But take a quick note, you can see four full battery bars on the Flex 24 volt with the five amp hour battery. Yep. Here you can see it too, the Cobalt XTR, it's taking it to it 
And while it did get trounced in every other single one by the Flex 24 volt, it was able to insert that six inch lag bolt faster than the Flex 24 volt. On removal, you can see it's about neck and neck with the Flex 2.5 amp hour battery, but the Cobalt XTR was slightly faster. When you put all these impact drivers head to head, you can see that the impact drivers that are not the Flex tools here all come in slightly faster than the Flex 24 volt. So this is where when you put your tools to the ultimate test, running in things in concrete, just really, really hard surfaces, you can see that your major top brands are gonna be able to insert those a little bit faster. Now we haven't talked about price, but price is always subject to change. When you look at things, speed, quality, and price, we all want the cheapest, the fastest, and the best, but if you're in a battery platform, Flex might not be for you. So we got the six inch lag bolt out of the way into the hard white oak, we got our one inch speed bore. That's gonna test all the tools have. Getting the torque, getting the blows per minute. Some people really like to use these because when you have those beats per minute or the impacts on these impact drivers, it really takes a lot of force off of your wrist and it lets the tool do the job. Make sure you're choosing the right tool for the job. Let's get to the one inch speed bore. For this test, we'll be using pressure treated two by fours. The one inch speed bore will drill through roughly about four of them. This speed bore works really, really well for new construction, wiring, and installation of piping. You can see that the Makita XDT16 is not able to be faster than the Flex 24 volt. Because we bought all these tools with our own money, none of them were provided by any of the manufacturers or any marketing firm or vendor out there. I do want to focus in on the collet. You can see that the Makita had no issues, no pullout, and that quarter inch hex stayed in place where it should be. Now, when it came to the Flex 24 volt, we did let the bit rest. You can see that it had no issues with the 2.5 amp hour battery. Again, that bit rested about two to three minutes before each one of the operations. You can see on the very second hole, the flex with the five amp hour battery, it's the same tool that we used in the 2.5 amp hour battery. It did pull out of that hole. Now, when you look at the other tools that we're gonna be running, this isn't the first hole that we drilled and other subsequent holes, they didn't have an issue, but the reason we brought this up because there are other tools that have that issue and the issue only continues to get worse over time. Here we have the Milwaukee Fuel Gen 3 impact driver and you can see that it just nearly beats out the flex with the 2.5 amp hour battery. And the reason we bring this up is because consistently we've ran the Milwaukee Fuel Gen 3 impact driver and we've had, well, you see it right there, issues with the pullout of the bit on that quarter inch collet. Now we will send this tool in and we'll get it repaired. Hopefully we'll get back the Fuel Gen 3.5 version, but we'll see what happens when we send it in. Now here we have the DeWalt XR DCF887 going head to head with the Flex and you can see the Flex 24 volt was able to beat out and is slightly faster. I do wanna note that the DeWalt XR has been used for roughly about six to eight months and it didn't have any issues with the quarter inch hex one inch speed bore pulling out or having any collet issues. Should you run into any problems, DeWalt does sell rebuild kits and you know, on heavy usage, you do maybe have to rebuild that every so often. Now the Cobalt XTR going head to head with the Flex 24 volt, you can see that the Flex with the five amp hour battery is able to finish first and it's really a close race, but the Cobalt XTR is not able to beat out the Flex 24 volt impact driver. When it came time for the Cobalt XTR with the removal of that one inch speed bore, we did have a collet slip there and I was really actually surprised. I hadn't had any issues before with the Cobalt XTR, so we'll have to continue to monitor this and make sure that doesn't happen again. So why don't you guys let me know down below in the comments how you feel about a one inch speed bore or even that paddle or spade bit. Do you feel like you run those in your impact driver? Do you feel like this is an unfair test? Do you feel like we should fail the Flex 24 volt impact because it had collet issues? And as far as collet issues, the Milwaukee Gen 3 impact driver, that's had well-documented issues. We're gonna go ahead and send that in. If we get a replacement or a Gen 3.5, we'll link that up above in the cards as well as down below in the description. The Makita and DeWalt had no issues with the quarter inch hex collet. So what are my final thoughts when it comes to these impact drivers? Flex, Makita, Milwaukee. Well, I can tell you this does not have a quick insert. It's got a quick release because you press the button, but it's got features that you might not even want. They're gonna market the heck out of them. We're gonna try some things out here, but look at the flex on that thing. You can see this is a really heavy, substantial tool. It is faster. It's really, really quick. It does have a lot of power, but when put up to the test to have the most power, you might have some better choices. If you're in a battery platform already, I don't even think you should be looking at flexed, honestly but it's not a bad tool. If you can get this for the right price, 
it might be a great deal. Makita, this is a real surprise to me. Was really, really impressed with the Makita. It's a light tool, even with the five amp hour battery. It does have a true quick insert. It's got features that you might not think of. It, you can turn the lights off or leave them on. And it actually has got a really low profile. This one again does flex, but it's able to do the same things that the flex can do. And it is a really light tool, even with that five amp hour battery. Now the Milwaukee Fuel Gen 3 impact driver. We're gonna definitely have to send this off to have the callet looked on it. But other than that, it's a really quick tool. Imagine what this tool would be like with the six amp hour battery. It's lighter than your Flex 24 volt. And if you're in the Milwaukee platform, it's got so many tools to choose from. How can you go wrong with a tool like this? You really can't unless that is, you're a DeWalt fan. I mean, I do like the tri-lights on there. That's really nice. It's got a quick insert collet, and it didn't have any issues in that speed bore test, which is also a good thing to make sure that you're always choosing the right tool for the job, because imagine, it can do the same thing as the other tools here. And if you can get a good deal on the DeWalt, make sure you're jumping all over it. Now, finally, we do have the Cobalt XTR. It doesn't have a quick insert collet, and it did have issues just like the Flex and also like the Milwaukee. It's a rather large tool. It's a Lowe's exclusive. That Flex is a whole lot. And again, the one drawback to the Flex is gonna be that it's a Lowe's exclusive as well, which means you have to have a Lowe's unless you're gonna buy it online, but then what's the point? Some of these other tool lines you know, there's going to be distributors, they're going to be repair shops, and or, you know, if you buy it at Home Depot, you just take it to their repair center, they may be able to fix it for you or they'll send it off. It just really depends. You got to really look at what's best for you. If it's going to save you time, it's going to save you money, allow you to spend more time with your family and friends, and it's definitely a tool that you need. It's worth trying out the Flex if you don't have tools. If you have a bunch of tools and you're committed to a battery platform, the Flex is not a tool for you. After checking out all the impact drivers, really, the only difference was is that I've never tried out Makita before, and that was the best surprise that I had out of all these tools. Really appreciate you guys all tuning in. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like this video, go ahead and give it two thumbs down. And as always, guys, work smarter, not harder, and we'll catch you in the next video. Just a friendly reminder, go ahead and hit that subscribe button.